Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today we continue the journey in learning how to use Dream Tonics Synthesizer V Studio Pro. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so today I'm going to show you the basic of tuning because they are very important if you want to make a professional singing voice on your composition. So let me start saying that I have just uh, I have created a track. It is still called a name track. Doesn't really matter for now. And I have selected a voice which is Kevin. And I have created them um, for notes, as you can see on the screen. So let's listen to what it sounds like. The other thing I have done, I have set the uh, tempo here to 70 and the default one is 120. And the reason I've done that is because I want uh, you to actually hear better the variation on the pitch that we are going to do. So first of all, we are going to open this panel here, which is the note properties panel. Now, if you select one note, you can move to the next one like so, or the previous one like so. If you select um, more than one note, like so, you press next, you move to the next one, and the selection of the previous two notes disappear. And then, of course, you can continue to use the previous button, and so on and so forth. So that uh, should be quite straightforward. Now, you need to have these uh, um, input pitch enable here to show you the uh, pitch um, curve otherwise you will not see that and you can also enable here the output pitch as well so let's uh, look at the other option now you can see bridge transition here so we have selected these node here if you notice what happened I'm moving it to the left hand side so the pitch is offset to the left so let's see what it sounds like now Life is knowledge. In contrast to having it completely on the right hand side. Life is knowledge. It makes it elongated towards the right side here by 0.5 second. Now let's reset down that to around zero. Next, what you can do, you can decide the duration on the left and the right, and also the depth for the left and the right. So let's have a look. Duration on the left, and you can see is slowly changing. Right? So let me increase the duration on the left a lot, and let's hear what it sounds like. Life is knowledge. Now, I can also increase the depth to the left, and look what's happening. It's increasing a lot of the uh, pitch. So I have, a now, I have now high duration and high depth on the left-hand side from a pitch point of view. So let's see what it sounds like. Life is knowledge. So it's going up in depth and then coming down. Of course, I can do the opposite as well. I can have duration on the left, zero, and um, duration on the right, a maximum. You can see the changes here on the right side, which, of course, influence also the next note in terms of pitch. And then I can also increase the, look at that, the uh, pitch, uh, the, sorry, the depth of the pitch on the right-hand side as well. Okay, so um, let's have increase the duration on the right, like so. Okay. Life is knowledge. So that can be quite useful in terms of actually giving you that variation as you like at the beginning of that note or at the end of that note. And it works very well in terms of creating exactly the transition you need. Now, if you want to go back to the default value, go up here, select Modify, and then say Reset Pitch. And as you can see, the pitch transition has been reset. Next, we have vibrato, really nice. Well, first of all, you notice that the depth is zero. So increase that straight away so you have a depth on the vibrato. And indeed, let's uh, hear what it sounds like. Life is knowledge. So you can hear already that vibrato, right? You have a start button, which you can decide if you have a like a delay. So like so, one second, you don't hardly hear anything. Life is knowledge. Or you can set the start right down to zero. You will hear the vibrato straight away. Life is knowledge. Of course, you can have some delay on the left-hand side. 
which you can see here, delay zero, or you can put some delay like so, or 0 0.5 seconds on the left hand side. Life is knowledge. And you can do the same, of course, on the right hand side. You can add a for the vibrato to finish earlier by 0 0.5 seconds. So you can decide the depth and you can decide also the frequencies, like so. You can increase the frequency, really nice. Life is knowledge. Of course, you can change the phase. Like so, sometimes you, you want to do that. Life is knowledge. And of course, you can also add some natural pitch uh, fluctuation using the Jitter here option. Okay, let's reset these again. Like so. Let's scroll down. You have additional options here. Timing, so you can add an offset on the note, but it's very small, it's only by 0 0.1 second, uh, positive or negative. You can change them, of course, and then you can also change the uh, duration and strength for each one which have been defined. So, for example, let's do like that. So you should hear quite a difference now. Life is knowledge. Okay, so again, you can go to Modify, Reset, uh, Time and Pitch, and then you can also do Reset, Timing and Phonemes. Okay, perfect. Next, the other thing I wanted to show you is that um, you can select more than one note, by the way, like so, and you can change the priority, sorry, the priority, the pitch of uh, um, multiple notes, right? Like so. And then you can say, right, okay, give me a death like so, right? And then you modify the death for multiple notes. But you can also, if you open the a voice panel, you can also define default um, settings for the pitch and also for the vibrato. If you do so at voice level, okay, of course, you can override the same parameters at note level. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. See you next time. Bye.